video about the scam job lead from a bot. So I feel like we're not even protected anymore from anybody and we're out here all alone. Um, <clears throat> so I wrote, I wrote this, I'll read it. My name is Laura, by the way. The first section was written because of general labor job offers. Due to my last employment, <clears throat> listed below, it is, no, it is necessary for me to specify in my resume that my body is no longer qualified to do general labor work for many hours a day over a long period of time, which is true. I can't do that anymore. The way younger people and myself can do today and the way I used to always push myself even over the past year, which at this time was earlier this year when I wrote this. <clears throat> um, I keep getting scratchy throats when I try to talk. Uh, let's see. I have exhausted whatever energy I had left inside of me while working for the last employer. I'm sure my efforts influenced thousands of now permanent positive comments on their website and worked for Amazon, so I did the best I could for every customer, which increased more billions of dollars into their businesses during a time when online ordering was probably the highest in their history. My efforts of giving all I had left within my energy was not good enough for my new younger male boss, so he did what he could to fire me, which is true. I do not know why I was let go without having my information that relates to my actual work available for me to analyze. There are several thousand variables that relate to each job on each given day or night shift at their facilities. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here is some information that relates to how my natural way of thinking has worked throughout my whole life. Positions that require this type of thinking would be a great match. Employers know more about the daily work task requirements that are necessary for success. Therefore, I am listing my natural attributes. I am capable of learning, relating to, and improving various systems and technologies. My thought processes have always been similar to an engineer relative to focusing on how something was made, assembled, disassembled, how it operates, processes, how it fails, and how to improve it. That is why I enjoy assembling, testing, troubleshooting equipment and systems, whether they would be within the technology industry or not. Uh, my technical background includes <clears throat> I built, set up, and troubleshoot or troubleshot, which way you say it, <laughs> PCs beginning in the mid 1980s, uh, which was around 85. That was on a Z80 back then. In the 1990s, I provided technical support for NT servers, monitor WAN networks, provided desktop server support with remote login online or by phone, provided virus cleanups, upgraded hardware software rollout on LANs, and installed a Cisco router to a T1 line. Um, I mean, I just did a lot of different jobs. Well, contract jobs, different tasks, different types of technical support. <clears throat> Back in those days, I didn't have to answer to a million different questions before I was allowed to do some kind of work. So it was a lot easier. I didn't realize it at the time. 
but it was a lot easier than it is now to get my hands on being able to do some work. Um, now I would have to trust services like cloud services or something or hosting services and all these things. I have to trust all these things uh, in order to do anything, get my hands on anything, um, <clears throat> because that's where all the access is, is on those big larger networks. Hosting a website or any of that kind of stuff, you have to trust a lot of people that you can't see or talk to. All right, so anyways, my education, um, I went to the college, oh boy, that was, that was a wrong move. But then again, I met my mentor who got me started in building PCs, so I guess it wasn't all that bad, <laughs> of course, uh, but I took a programming degree, I had programming, database, COBOL, C programming, Pascal, a lot of stuff, and um, spreadsheets, Word, Word, um, just a lot of stuff. Um, and then before that, I did the, <laughs> I was in technical school and I did a lot of work there, learning a lot of stuff there, but I didn't get a job out of there, so then my loans lapsed and life has never been better since, but a lot of things happen, but anyways, I tried, um, when I finally did get a really good job, I, I thought I had a really good job, I took all these Microsoft certifications, so that's what the next section is about, a couple years ago, I took the A+, plus after I'd already known all the stuff, now it would take me a lot of money to retake all that again, uh, but I, I know the information. It's not like I don't know it. Um, I just don't have a piece of paper now that I'm allowed to use. <laughs> so I have to pretend like I don't know it because I don't have a piece of paper, I guess. Um, so, so, you know, before they could control telling everybody, oh, you have to have a piece of paper, blah, blah, blah. I did all those things. Uh, I worked with Microsoft since, oh, DOS. 3.0, I think, <laughs> on up, you know. <laughs> uh, why? Because that's what was accessible. Apple was too expensive. So really, that's my education. Um, I worked at Amazon, and a um, very difficult job. Um, a lot of stuff, so. Um... I'll go down through here. I'm not going to read everything. I hate saying it that way. I would prefer not to read everything and just scan through it. I don't want to sound rude. Um, but uh, I, I mean, in the year 2000, so many things happened from 2000 on up or even 2007, 8, whatever crisis that happened and all that. I mean, I just, I could never, I never won. <laughs> I always failed. Um, now I'm trying again to survive and I keep going back to all this knowledge that I know to try to make it from here on out. I don't want to die yet. <laughs> um, so anyways, I know all this. It's not like I don't know anything in technology. I just don't have a piece of paper that's good enough. And the other thing is that all these applications, they want you to fill out all these little details that I don't have. And I'm older, so, you know, these companies or businesses or contracts or bosses back then, um, they might not exist today. So that's the other problem I have right now is age discrimination. So anyways, that's all about my background, my resume, my education. And that's what, when I kind of hesitated in that video is because 
I just think about all this stuff that I've done and it's just like, I don't even know how to explain it. So it's not like mainstream, I suppose. It's just because back when my tech, when my, um, when my student loans from tech, from tech school lapsed and I didn't have any money or jobs from that, then I injured myself. Uh, trying to ski I should have claimed back then uh, a disability but I didn't and because I wanted to try harder and go back to school and that's why I went back to school so I was finally able to find a program to do that and that's why I was able to go back to school to the college um, but it's just difficult to be accepted I guess so there, there it is. <laughs> so that's why I was kind of oh, up and down with trying to say. But they have all of those jobs listed and, and cert certifications and a different section in the beginning. But still, whoever sent me that text, um, I blocked it. You know, saying, and you'll have to see my other video. I'll put a link to it. But whoever sent that text... They're just being disrespectful. They're trying to lure somebody to contact them. They're using a bot. They're not saying who they are. They're not saying why they what they like about your resume. They don't relate to anything at all. So as far as I could see, it's nothing but a scam. This past week, um, I apply all the time for remote jobs. In this past week, um. Somebody ignored my resume that I submitted to their job link, job lead on the job board. So I go into the job board, I apply, I send my resume. They totally ignore it 100% and say, go to this website and fill out this application. At least they use the information inside the I mean, the messaging system inside the job board instead of telling me to go to some other, um, you know, Gmail or something. Because when there's a messaging system inside of a job board or whatever, I expect to talk to somebody through that first so that I know they're not spam or scam or whatever. Um, so anyways... So I go and look at the message and they want me to go to a website and they want me to upload my social security number and all this stuff without ever talking to me and seeing if I'm hired or anything. I'm like, why? No, I'm not going to enter my social security number without you talking to anybody first. You know, do, I, they didn't say I was hired or nothing. They just told me to go fill this out. You don't do that. That's not the way we do things here. We don't simply submit our social security number to anybody just because they ask for it. I don't know who you are. I don't know if you have anything to do with... I don't know what company this is. I, I don't know anything. They don't give you any information. I'm like, oh... And I'm why am I taking that kind of risk and, you know, submitting my resume and applying for any of these things? Because the, <laughs> I got fired from Amazon and I've been trying to get my employment for several months and I haven't received one single penny. So I keep trying to um, submit my resume into any job I can as much as possible. And plus you have to claim you're doing that. But I want a job from home. And so many of them, they just, they won't give you any information, but you have to apply because you have to apply somewhere. Um, oh, it's so hard. Um, and then I hear about these employment job scams. I'm like, oh. so I don't want to give them all my personal information without them telling me who they are, why they're interested talk to me, have some kind of interview or anything, something, 
this person didn't have any interview. They didn't say my name is. Thank you for submitting your resume. Nothing at all. They just said go to this website and fill this out. And then they expect you to send your social security number and everything. That is more than scammy. <laughs> um, and they're trying to use the vulnerability of people. So that's that's that and that's me. And uh, so I'm going to go now. And um, yes, I am trying to grow. Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to grow my channel. But please don't subscribe if you don't like me. I only want people to subscribe if they would like to uh, know more or if you have questions to uh, ask me some content that you want. Just, you know, tell me what you want and I'll see if I can do it for you and I'll make it. Um, I'll do everything I can to try to keep my personal feelings out of, you know, any of these if I have to, if I can, but um, <clears throat> sometimes it's difficult. I don't edit every little thing like they do in a lot of other sites. Uh, I'm trying to show the real world. If I ever talk to you for real, I don't want to be a different person than what you saw on the any of the video or what you heard of who I am. I don't really put my face on the videos, but if you, you know, you hear my voice and you hear me talking, if I ever talk to you in a live stream or something, um, you know, I wouldn't want to sound like a different person than what you hear on the videos. On the videos, they edit them so bad that you don't even know who you're talking to. <laughs> so, anyways, um, all right, so I will get out of here, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Please click the like button. It really does help out a lot. And, uh... Please subscribe, and I shall talk to you soon. Thank you. Have a great day. Happy New Year, everybody. Bye.